So after installing Windows 10, I had an issue where Windows 10 was just going extremely slow. I could hardly do anything, and it was just constantly freezing. Now there's a few things that we can do to fix this issue. Uh, first, if you're on the loading screen, and there's just the circle that's loading, and it's loading forever and ever, um, one thing that you'll want to do is do Shift F10. And if you did Shift F10 from the loading screen, it will pull up the command prompt. Since we're already in the desktop, um, I'm going to just press Windows X, and it pulls up a menu over here, and then just press the command prompt for admin, and then choose yes. And then what you want to do is go into type in power CFG, and then the first thing is you can check your power mode to do slash list and it will show either balance high performance or power saver balanced is the default so you'll probably be on the default balanced um, I've already changed it to high performance um, so that's what you'll need to do so to change it to high performance if you're not on it already go to power CFG and then do slash set active and then all caps and then do a space scheme underscore min for minimum power saving after that if you went to list again it would have changed from whatever it used to be to high performance um, so you can either do that from the command prompt or you can do it from the control panel and control X should have the control panel as well um, but if you're not able to access the control panel, if it's going too slow, or if you're still on the loading screen, you do it from the command prompt like I just showed you. Uh, the other way is from the control panel. If you go into system and security, go to power options, and then press on high performance here. Now the next thing after you do that, um, that wasn't the full solution for me. Um, for me, that would work as long as the a laptop is plugged in and charging but as soon as I unplugged it from the charger it would freeze up and basically be unusable and what I had to do is um, get this extra option in the menu to change but before that I want to do one more thing that other people have said worked for them a very popular answer for um, other people that have had this issue and that is going into regedit do the windows R key and then type in regedit r-e-g-e-d-t e-d-i-t and then press ok then open this thing up and the first thing you want to do is well what we're going to do is search for key go into file go into edit I mean and then press the find button and then do type in enable ULPS and then make sure these are set and then do find next and it's going to search the registry um, this can take a little bit of time and especially if your computers already running slow it could take some time alternatively if you really need to if it's taking too long um, you might need to go um, to the internet or something and, and download an alternative registry editor um, and other alternatives are a lot faster at searching but we're just going to do this it shouldn't take too much longer um, ULPS is what uh, a, a certain power saving mode um, that basically lowers the voltage um, given to uh, certain components inside the computer and that's why you would want to disable that uh, because that can cause um, performance issues in this case uh, to the hardware okay so now that it finished searching you can see that it showed up right here now I already changed it it's at 0 um, but by default it is at 1 
So all you do is double click on it and change it to 1. I mean change it to 0 uh, because it will be 1 by default. And you want to make sure you do that to all of them. So go into edit and then there's find next. And it will go and search for the next key. See the next key is right here. I do the same thing, double click on it and change it to 0. And then go edit, find next. And just keep doing it until you've done all of them. And then eventually, see I've already done it. A lot of them are already at 0, only a few are at 1. So you might not have to change that many. And then eventually it will say it's reached the end. Looks like there's quite a bit. And like I said, a lot of these are already at zero. Um, there's only a couple that are at one. I think the main key that you need to change for enable ULPS is from the if if your computer is AMD, it's from the AMD um, KMDAG. Um, so it should be fine right now, especially since I've changed uh, the other ones. But um, it actually is having an issue where it is taking like forever to search the registry. Um, so I'm actually just going to show you what I was talking about earlier, just getting an alternative reg registry editor. And... Uh, o and O uh, seems to be a good one, so I'm just going to go ahead and download that. So I'm going to go into the uh, file manager and go into downloads, extract this, uh, what was downloaded, and then I'm just going to double click the uh, 60, 64 bit one and then uh, press the more info and then run anyways. Choose yes, accept and it's asking if you want to set it as default. Um, I'm just going to say no do not show again and thanks so here's the alternative reg editor um, I'm just going to go through real quick um, the same thing is from edit and find and I'm going to search enable ULPS once again uh, just to go through and search and it should go faster and it's and it shows the percentage as well so so it didn't take that long and it's um, gone through all the searches and you can see that there's a list of all of them and you can just um, look and you can see if there's any that is set to one and just change it and I think it's the same thing you just double click and then double click it and then press uh, change it to zero and then once you're done you click OK and then you just keep continue through the list. So after you've changed the registry, you can either reboot and see if that's fixed it, or you can go into the next step and uh, reboot at the end. Uh, the next step is first go into the control panel. Now I have mine on the desktop, but you won't. So go into Windows key and then X again, and then click on the control panel button. Uh, next go into the system and security. Uh, go into the power options and then go into choose on the left side go into choose what power button does and then at the top you'll see change settings that are currently unavailable just press that go to the very bottom and press um, you can disable the turn on fast startup um, if your computer is taking a while to boot up, um, for some reason, turning off fast start it, startup can make it go faster. Um, so, and I'm not joking about this, that's 
actually something you can try uh, to see if it will boot up faster. Other people have had uh, results that actually do um, cause it to boot up faster. Now I've already disabled it, so you'll just have to go ahead and uh, disable it yourself. Now once again we're going to go into regedit. Uh, so just go Windows R and open up regedit again. Uh, you can either use this or the alternative reg registry editor. We won't need to do any searching for this time so I'm just going to use this one. Um, so let's pull this out over here. Scroll up to the top. Let's just close these. And now what we need to do is go into um, I'll have this in the description. You'll go into H key uh, local machine, pull that down, and then go into system. So open that up. System. And then we can go into current control set. So pull that down. It's already pulled down for me. And then go into control. Just gonna close that. Go into control. And then go down and try to find and find power. Inside of power, go into the power settings. And then what we need to look for is 0012EE47-9041-4B. 5d slash 9b77 dash 535 fba 8 b 1442 uh, that will be in the description just gonna pull this out so we can see it um, it looks like it is the first one the 0 0 12 so and then we can go into uh, the next set which is 0B 2D 69D 7 dash A2 A1 dash 449C dash 96AO dash F91 C70521 C60 and that looks like the first one here okay and then what you want to do is in the attributes change it to 2. So just keep that at, well change it to 2. Uh, for me it's already 2, uh, for you it won't be. Now in this same folder, the one above it, um, we need to go to DAB60367-53 FE 4B 4FBC dash 825E dash 521D 069D2456. Um, so, looks like it's right here. And then, once again, go to the attributes area and just make sure it's at 2 um, or change it to 2. By default, it's something else. I can't recall what it is, but uh, change that to 2. And then, after that, we can go into Control Panel. Uh, you can do the Windows key X and go into Control Panel again. Go into System and Security. Go into Power Options. Go into Change Plan Settings from your current uh, power plan. Now go into change advanced power settings and it will pull up this dialog and now you should see a hard disk option and then you'll see this. This is what we just added, this option. If we changed it or if, if we put it back to the previous value this option wouldn't even show up. It wouldn't even exist. And so if we pull that down, you'll see on battery is active and plugged in is active. By default, it's something else. By default, plugged in is, I believe, the HIPM. Or no, the on battery is HIPM. What you want to do is just set it to active. 
and then this will just make it so that the hard drive is always getting its full power basically at least that's what I believe it's doing and so that is what really fixed it for me after that I didn't have any issues um, with with the speed so once you've changed all these you just press apply and then reboot the computer if these previous steps have not worked there are a few other things that I'm going to touch on very briefly uh, that you may want to try uh, the first thing is check in your BIOS to see if it is in AHCI mode you may need to change it from IDE to AHCI in my case it automatically chooses and this option doesn't even exist so you may not have this option uh, you may need to look up for a specific device um, how to change it but here's a screenshot of just example how it looks like it, on most computers you can enter into BIOS uh, settings uh, by pressing F10 on startup now after you do change it change it to AHCI if you have that option you may need to go into safe mode and then back to regular mode um, you can you can look through this article uh, to see how you can do that um, that going into safe mode sometimes can trigger uh, some sort of a fix um, if you have changed that mode sometimes it doesn't detect that it's changed and you need to go into safe mode first and then back to normal mode now the next thing is that you may that you may want to try is updating your BIOS for me um, I'm this is on an HP computer um, so I'll leave these all these links in the description and in this case they have a, a software that you can download and run and install the latest BIOS it's known that updating BIOS can uh, potentially improve performance the last thing you may want to try is updating your AMD or whatever graphics card drivers that you have in this case it's AMD um, so you just download this and install it after installing these drivers you may want to go back into regedit and make sure that enable ULPS is all set to zero it seems that after installing uh, graphics drivers that it can set it back to one so set them back to zero so that's about it thank you for watching I hope it helps have a great day and please subscribe if you like these types of videos